Hi there. My name's Chris and you're watching Inklim. Today I'm making the man, the myth, the legend. That's not right. Um, let's start again. The man, the myth, the monster. The Flatwoods monster of West Virginia. So stay tuned and enjoy. We're going to start our build with some concept sketches for our sculpt. I think for this build, I kind of want him to look... I mean, he's he's going to look like the Flatwoods monster, so he's going to be pretty robotic. He's going to have a round red head and uh, that weird kind of shovel looking thing behind it. And I kind of want him to look like a sort of 50s vintage robot. You know, like the old school uh, sort of 60s when the moon landing happened and like spacemen became really popular. So there's going to be quite a lot of geometric shapes, I think. Twisty, wiry looking components. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. I'm doing a couple more experimental drawings down here. Um, they probably won't get used if we're honest. In fact, you've seen the thumbnail, you clicked on it, you know what he's going to look like, but let's pretend we don't know. Over here, we are popping in a few rough ideas for the diorama itself. With that done, we can move on to our sculpt. So I've moved up in the world, and instead of using tinfoil, I bought some armature wire. I'm going to bend and cut this into shape for it to be a small skeleton for our flatwood monster to be built on top of. With that done, we're basically just going to use a lot of bits of clay and pop them on top of our sculpture. Starting off with a head, which is going to be round. I'm just trying to close that seam line. Here we're bulking up the body. So as it's pretty robotic, we're just going to use a lot of kind of like noodles for the wiring. And with this flat piece, this is going to be the beginning of the body armor or the the casing, which the flatwood monster is inside. Now we're just going to make a few uh, a few shoulder pads, which kind of reminds me of a. Uh, like a Roman body armor, you know? I'm just uh, fixing out the spot where I want the eyes to be, and then we're gonna press them in with my little LED lamp things because they make a really nice circle for an eye. Now we're just um, adding a little bit of texture to our creature now. Making him his bishop's hood. And as soon as that goes on, he's he's looking great. I'm really chuffed with how this sculpt is going. Right here, we're just putting some isopropyl alcohol over his belly ball to make sure I don't have any fingerprints or anything left over when the sculpt gets baked. So he should be nice and smooth. And we're shortly coming to the most frustrating part of this build, which is making the skirt. I don't know whether the clay was too cold, I don't know if I hadn't mixed it well enough, like kneaded it, but every time I tried to get a really thin piece of clay, it just crumbled. It was an absolute nightmare, I don't know. But um, we fixed that later on, we managed to get like just a nice smooth piece and just wrap it around and the edging on it from where it had kind of like torn while I was rolling it out. It looks good and I'm happy with that, so we're going to carry on. And next up, we've got to build his little robot hands putting in some pre-baked claws, just squishing them into it. Again, we're going for a we're going for a sort of 60s retro robot design, so I think these are looking pretty cool. Pop them on. And the Flatwoods monster is sculpted. Next up we're gonna get our little people I bought one or two uh, 70 second scale minis to speed up the building process. And all we're going to do here is just take this guy's briefcase off, 
So he's just a random guy pointing off into the distance at the looming menace that he sees in front of him. Tidy up some of the flashing. And we'll get ready for painting. I'm just giving them an undercoat in black. And then we'll go in and give them a good old painting. So there's actually quite a lot more detail on these than uh, than the minis that I sculpted myself in my last build. So uh, we can give them a bit of a better paint job. Starting off with some nice blue jeans. Highlight them up. We're cracking out the airbrush, ready for an undercoat for the Flatwoods creature. This creature's got quite a lot of flat planes on him, and uh, my painting skills aren't that great, so I've watched quite a lot of YouTube videos on miniature painting to try and up my game. The first part of that was a Zenithal highlight, which I'm not really that sure about. It kind of came out okay, but I don't think that it really helped with the paint job that much. The last time I painted anything, like this, that looked kind of like a robot, I think would have been when I was about 12 years old and I used to paint Warhammer, and uh, yeah, I I wasn't that good at painting then. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of glazing that went on in this and a lot of wet blending. Look at that paint just popping on there, mm, thick coats. If you're enjoying the video don't forget to like and comment and uh, subscribe so you don't miss out on more sculpts in the future. Dry brushing on the metal areas. Just very carefully pop the, uh, pop the orange colour into these eyes. And then we're just adding some depth with several layers of glazing. Finish up all these little details, which I think came out pretty good. I mean, this is the first build that has been kind of robotic, so it's got a lot of hard edges. All of my other builds have been kind of uh, organic creatures, so there's not been much of a chance for that, but I think, do you know what? I'm really, I'm really enjoying how this is turning out. And it's time to move on to the base. So we'll use our XPS foam and just take chunks out of it. Slicing and dicing until we get the, uh, the kind of shape we're looking for. Gonna build up some terrain sludge. So we've got our plaster, Add some brown paint, a bit of glue, and some water off camera. And this time around I'm going for something a little bit thicker because in my last build the, uh, the base took like five days to dry before I could paint it. Moving on to painting the base. I feel like the paint was a bit too thick, so it wasn't really, uh, it wasn't applying very nicely. But we, we got there in the end. Um, I'm applying an absolute <laughs> ton of glue all over this so I can add my fake grass. Smooth it down with a paintbrush, then we'll apply our uh, our green sawdust. 
If you're wondering, yes, that is a Grinch onesie I was gifted over Christmas. I'm just using this balsa wood to cut out some little tiny fence posts. This path didn't really turn out how I wanted it to. As plan B, I decided to re-glue it and sprinkle stones back over it so I've got more texture. And then when we repaint it, hopefully it'll look more realistic. Add a little, uh, add some little furry caterpillars. Use them as like little hedges or bush rows. You know, a bit of wild growth. Pop our characters down. And we're all done, just in time for the glamour shots. Once again, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a comment and like to help me out. And while you're here and looking for something to do, why not check out this video next? Catch you later!